Hi, it's Teresa from Dodge, and time for another Nature to Go. All that wonderful bird song that you hear when you wake up in the morning. Well, who exactly is making all of those sounds? That's what we're going to look at this week. Let's start with those singers that are busy before the sun is even up. The two birds that we hear most often right away at dawn are cardinals and robins. So what sounds are they making? One way to learn bird song is by imagining what words could go along with the pitches and melodies of the sounds the birds are creating. So some people think that what the robin is saying sounds sort of like cheerio, 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 cheerio. Do you hear it? Male cardinals sing a song already starting in the winter time. Some people think it sounds like, what cheer, what cheer, what cheer. Here we have black-capped chickadees. Now, most of the time they say their name, chickadee-dee-dee, but a spring song that they do is the Phoebe song. Phoebe, Phoebe. Head over to the pond, and you're likely to hear the geese being very noisy, but they're not the only ones talking at the pond. Look around, and you might notice mallard ducks. And then there's the birds that I look forward to returning in the spring, the very vocal red-winged blackbirds. And while birds are one of the main noisemakers of springtime, if you will, the other thing that we listen for are frogs and toads. At the Nature Center, one of the first frogs that we hear are chorus frogs. Some people think this sound reminds them um, if you would take a comb and run your fingers back and forth on a comb. A couple of weeks after the chorus frogs start singing, then we hear toads. These are American toads, and they trill. And as spring goes on, there's so many other kinds of birds that will show up and start singing. There's wrens, there's phoebes, and then there's all the warblers. But we're not going to cover those here right now. But I'm going to tell you about some tools you could use to help you learn what some of those other songs are as well. The Merlin app from Cornell's Lab of Ornithology is a really simple app that allows you to easily identify birds that are in your area. And now it has an audio feature, so it will help you to learn what songs you're hearing in the area as well. Another tool that we use at the Nature Center that kids really like is sort of old school, but it's called the Identifier. You insert a card into this device, and when you push the button, it plays the song that the birds make. It's simple, it's easy, and kids really love it. Learning bird song, learning animal sounds, can be challenging, so this is a good way to start. Just learn a few that you recognize this spring, and then next year you can build on it, and you can build on it each year. Thanks for joining me for this episode of Nature to Go. Get out, listen to what's happening this spring. We'll talk to you again next time.